Okay guys, before we get into the video of everything that happened at the drag strip today and everything associated with it, um, I'd just like to put out that I am not in any way, shape, or form anywhere close to being a professional driver. This is very new territory for me. Um, a lot of good stuff happened today. I learned a lot of things about the car. Uh, I know a lot of improvements that I need to make. Uh, one for starters is I need better tires on that. Um, the Indy 500s that I have, pretty good for cornering, um, but going down the drag strip, not good at all. Um, you'll see my times today are not exactly the best that you would expect to see out of a 392. Um, yeah, my tires weren't good. I have a six-speed manual, so my times are not reflective of what Dodge puts out as the proposed quarter mile time that the scat pack can make. Um, I found out that most of that is on a manual transmission. I am super excited to get back out there and run again. I learned a lot about the car today. Um, I'm excited to try some new things with it next time we go out. So yeah, enjoy the video. If you have any tips, give me pointers. Uh, be kind. <laughs> car, we'll just say we didn't make it to the 12s. Even my friend who had a 14 SRT with a six-speed manual, who used to run 12 sixes, I think is what he said, uh, on the stock, and um, wasn't able to get it past the 13 two. Um, but my tires aren't good, and honestly, if he would make a second pass in my car, he may have been able to get it to a 12.9, uh, probably definitely a 13. Uh, but the next time we go out and we go racing, I'm going to try a few different things and here soon I'm going to order myself a good set of drag stars uh, with some Mickey Thompson radials for it. And uh, we'll go from there and we'll shoot for better times and we'll get this car running where it needs to run. So enjoy the video, give me a like and a um, subscribe to the channel because there's just going to be more Scat Pack related stuff coming up with it and uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys, hope you enjoy it. It is Murph. I'm back at you again with another video. Uh, today we are driving up to Northern Maryland uh, to Cecil County Dragway. It is about 6 a.m. right now. Got to get there about, uh, I think, I'm meeting up with my buddies around 8. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to go and we're going to get some lap time or test times in. Uh, it is test and tune day. Uh, so it'll give me a good baseline of what this car can do. It's supposed to be like a high of 75 today with a little bit of clouds, although there is no clouds out yet. So um, hopefully the track uh, won't be too, too hot, but uh, we'll have to see. So, yep. <laughs> covers off, lawn chairs loaded up. Um, I got everything else done to it last night. Checked the oil, it's higher pressures where I need it to be and I took out my uh, subwoofer in the back so we should be good to go. Um, and I will see you guys at the dragway. All right, we are at Cecil County Dragway. I am here with uh, my buddy Chris, Hellcat Red Eye, his girlfriend Amelia, and my buddy Corey. So, uh, yeah, there it is. Get the drag set up onto the red eye. Uh, it's a little cooler today than what it was before, so you might actually be able to uh, get a better time today. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, here soon we'll go ahead and uh, get some racing footage. first video uh, in the car my of my first pass um, ended up not recording for some reason. However, I had a friend back um, in the pit who took a video of my car going down the strip. <laughs>
Spider Man. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so the uh, that was my first run. I wasn't able to re record it. Something ended up happening. I don't know exactly what, but uh, I ran a 13.4. Uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's about to be expected, honestly. Uh, it's a little warm out now, so yeah, we're gonna run again. We're gonna see what happens, but 13.4 at 109 gonna try it again. I Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Alright, so we have been running so far on the two laps I've done, we've been consistent in getting a 13.4. Uh, my last run, I had some pretty significant wheel hop, so we're going to have to try to take her a little more easy and I'm just going to have to pull her off if it gets like that again. Um, so first lap I ran, I ran 13.43 uh, at 109. This last one was 13.48 at 109.3. Yeah, so I know what I gotta do. I have to go ahead and um, have to burn the tires a little bit more, get them a little bit more clean, and then I'm just gonna have to keep feathering this, this uh, clutch. And then from there, hopefully we can see a dramatic decrease. If I could walk away with a 13-1, I'd be okay. But my ultimate goal is to get down to a 12-9. So we'll end up seeing what happens. However, my buddy Chris uh, with the uh, red eye over there, he's been running consistent 10 threes. Um, pretty fantastic. So yeah, we're just going to keep it up see what happens and then I'll try to get down to a 12, 12, nine. Uh, but I'll be, I'll be good if we leave with a 13, one. Um, I, I do not have tires for this right now, but, uh, we'll see what happens. My third time I actually stalled at the start line. Um, I'm not going to put that clip in here. There was, uh, I, I may have yelled some pretty unpleasant trees when that happened, but, um, yeah, and at that point, I just kind of took her down the drag strip, really wasn't slamming gears and mashing down on the gas at all, so my time was horrible anyway. <laughs>
ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That was the worst one all day. Uh, my last time, however, ended up uh, being slower than my previous two. And then my buddy took over in the car and ran. So I'll show you the footage from all of that. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. So we won't make another run, get into the lane.